We have some that have other opportunities, others that can't follow the rules, people that are working diligently and improving faster than ever, and other people that are too lazy to take class. So something's got to give. Everyone's replaceable. Didn't show up at mandatory booty camp. I think you're very disrespectful. Why is that disrespectful? We're disrespectful for not being here. Your kid gets a solo, she gets the opportunity, she's at national, she's well, she doing this, she's doing solo. that, and she, then psh, she got forget on you, fault. forget you all about that. you. These kids are all pretty much straight A students in school. Where is the vocabulary word mandatory? Can we not learn what that means? It means that I mandate that you be present and you be there. Very surprised to see Peyton and Leslie back. I mean, after the big Thanks. blowout, and all the controversy, I'm not sure Peyton is the right fit for the team. Let me tell you what, I'll put my daughter up against your daughter any day Go of the ahead. week. And I think Abby really, really needs to take a look at this and decide, is she right or isn't she right? This week, you know, first week back, our girls look great. There's lots of good things that happened this week, but Leslie has to squash it, of course. She's upset. Wait, you don't Leslie, think it has pressure? nothing to do with you. Don't talk to me about it. Has it has something to do with me. My daughter's going up against your daughter right well, now. Are you afraid of it? She thinks we're all out to get her, which we're not. So, you know, I don't know what we have to do to prove to her that she's part of the team. So act like it. Don't push against us. Work with us. You better watch what you're saying, because it might come back to bite you in the ass, Kelly. Leslie's always fighting with us women. We can't say anything right. She thinks that we're trying to conspire to hurt her and Peyton, which we're not. She's just nuts. I'm going to give it to you. Your daughter's legs and feet are amazing. amazing. As far as performance, Peyton blew her out of the water. I am scouting new talent. I'm looking for uh, a girl that is 12, Someone short, petite, extraordinary legs and feet, the ability to work both sides, and uh, somebody that does all genres. Abby's threatened us in the past just to kind of light a fire and get things going, but this time it sounds like she's looking for someone permanent, and I'm afraid that's a replacement for Chloe. You're good, okay? You're beautiful, stop it. I know my daughter, and she doesn't cry over nothing. You know, after Abby gave that checklist of what she's looking for in a dancer, and it's not Peyton, it made her feel very uncomfortable, and she feels unsupported on this team. Brooke's in the best outfit. Peyton, hey, didn't you tell me you had that bra top at home? Are you ladies worried about her replacing your kids? Because I'm a little nervous. Oh, you know what? I'm sick and tired of it. Shut up. You know what? Your kid is 16 years old, You're right? and I put her on this team this weekend because we're doing a dance that she looks great doing. She's in the middle, and you're still bitching about stuff. I need dancers that I can count on. I thought I had Brooke, but she proved me wrong. So I bring in Peyton, but she's having a meltdown and boo-hooing over her hairstyle. Really, Peyton? You're the oldest, most advanced person in this group. This is your job. You don't want to be here? I have four kids standing in the hall right now that I looked at on stage earlier today that could take any one of your places. Peyton, you can't even look at me. You're looking everywhere else. Stop acting like a baby, you're 16 years old, and everybody's watching you cry. Save your tears for the pillow. You have an opportunity here. Don't blow it, kiddo. Mackenzie, see what it looks like when you cry like a baby? The proof is in the pudding. If a group of little girls win at a certain age, at a certain competition, stick with it. And Abby's switching it up, and I don't think she needs to. This is a preteen jazz group. Please put your hands together for Girls Night Out.
in third place in our preteen group division. Girls, night out! Yeah. The overall high score winning national grand champions, beating everybody in New Orleans, and now we're third. Shouldn't we be better than that? The kids have all had a chance to train, to study, to improve. That didn't happen. No. Because some of us went to the beach. What happens when you get there and everybody's good? You have to be better. You can't take a vacation. Got you can't it. take time off. It doesn't help. It hurts. Third place. Third. Peyton? Peyton, you can't be a baby. We have a baby, that's Mackenzie, and she's not even a baby anymore. You can't put it right there. Why? It doesn't go in. It's gonna have to go in, honey. If you let me hurt you, it'll go in. Stop acting like a baby, you're 16 years old, and everybody's watching you cry. She just wasn't happy. I know, but we don't care if she's happy. But that's Get just it. Get it in your head. You don't care that she... We don't. That's ridiculous. You're crossing the line. Really? That's it. I said it. It's, it's done and it's over with. She has to realize what she's doing. She tells me it all the time. I will go and talk to her about it. No, Mom, stand up for me. She would have said that to Maddie. All of the moms would have helped her out. And you know what? How many times do I say let's not go back to the studio? And you choose to come back here. So do you want to stay or do you want to go? Peyton! Look at your hair. I bring you onto the team one more time because you are a rock star in this dance studio. You represent the Abby Lee Dance Company tremendously when you go to conventions and you go to master classes. But you don't understand the big picture. I come to the studio because I love you and I love the teachers and I love the kids and I love dancing here. That's why I do not qu quit. There's nowhere else that I want to be than in this studio. That's and I come wonderful. here and I come here to dance. When you go to New York or LA, the people auditioning you aren't gonna waste their time telling you what you can do better the next time. They're just gonna cut you. Get it? Yes. Peyton needs to toughen up. It's a tough world out there. And if you want to make it as a professional dancer, you need to start listening to your teacher.